Suspected international spies coming to Florida. Reporter Matt Sesney has details on why experts say our state has become an international target. The rash of arrests involving Chinese nationals at sensitive security locations, including Mar-a-Lago, has former intelligence officials raising red flags. The way I would explain it is it's a target-rich environment. Former CIA analyst Lisa Ruth is talking about Florida and its attraction for international spies, especially the Chinese. You start with President Trump and Mar-a-Lago, and that is absolutely an intelligence target for every country around the world. 56-year-old Chinese woman arrested in December is the latest to be accused of trespassing and taking pictures inside Mar-a-Lago, the Winter White House for President Trump. A month earlier, Yujing Zhang was sentenced to eight months for lying to Secret Service agents to get inside a secure Mar-a-Lago. Prosecutors say she had electronic equipment and was taking photos. Neither were charged with espionage. Former intelligence people still believe, though, something was up. Tim Miller is a former Secret Service agent. Because remember, it's not just about intercepted communications. It can be situational awareness. People uh, that are trying to identify what cameras see what at certain times. The, the entire thing is concerning. Uh, it's a pretty simplistic and, and sort of uh, amateur approach, which you find a lot in uh, Chinese collection efforts. Nicholas Eftimiatis is a former intelligence officer who wrote a book on Chinese intelligence operations. His data reveals 20 federal cases in Florida involving Chinese citizens in the last 20 years, which include four instances in the past year of Chinese nationals arrested and accused of espionage, allegedly taking pictures inside the Key West Naval Air Station. One has already pled guilty and is serving a year in prison. Speaking by Skype from Pennsylvania, Efta Miata says spying is encouraged and rewarded by the Chinese government. What you have is a lot of entre entrepreneurs untrained uh, who are trying to collect specific information. They are encouraged when they're here to start looking around, develop relationships. And in exchange, they get things paid for, their school paid for, their family is treated well. It's a good deal. Unless they get caught. All of those arrested deny any claims they are spies, just international students or tourists drawn to certain Florida locations. I think it's all one and the same. I think the bumbling tourist is, in fact, the amateur spy. Keep in mind, the spy moniker doesn't mean somebody who is trained by an intelligence service. That means somebody who an intelligence officer is directing to go do something. Experts say for China, the espionage can be economic as well as governmental. And the goal? is well known. Their plans, as, as Xi Jinping has said many a time, uh, to be China to ascend to its rightful place at the top of the world by 2049. The trial for Liu Jing, the latest accused of trespassing at Mar-a-Lago, begins next Tuesday. I'm Matt Sesney, ABC Action News.